All right, welcome back to the bench. It's been a while since I've done a ham radio related video, so let's do one. Uh, this video is going to be for the ham radio enthusiast viewers that originally came to my channel. So this video is going to be about um, testing your front end of your receiver. How do you know an S9 is an S9? Well, if we go to Wikipedia, let's go to the desktop here. If we go to Wikipedia, it shows that an S9 is roughly 50.2 microvolts at minus 73 dB. So these are the numbers we're going to want to try and get to uh, on our uh, signal generator. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out how to get our signal generator uh, attenuated to the point where we're not going to fry the input of our receiver. That is the biggest um, challenge. You got to you got to get the signal down because I think the minimum the minimum uh, voltage I can put out of the uh, signal generator is about a millivolt. So if we go over to here, uh, let's see. So we know we need 50 microvolts. So we're going to put in 50 microvolts, convert it. So that is going to be 0. 0.00005 volts. Okay. So now if we take this number, 0. 0.00005 volts, and go over to this dB calculator, and we're going to start off, we're going to want to put in, let's say, let's say we're going to put 200 millivolts out of the waveform generator, and we want to get to 0. 0.00005 so that's 50 microvolts output, and this is the level change. It's going to calculate. Whoops, did I put a wrong zero in there? Yeah, I put an extra zero in there. So it's one, two. Oh no, I didn't put a wrong zero. I forgot to put a point here. All right, let's do this again. All right, so we need minus 72 um, decibels of attenuation. So if we go over to our test equipment. You're going to need a step attenuator. You can find these on eBay. They're relatively inexpensive if you shop around. I got this one roughly for about 65 bucks. So we need 72 dB of attenuation. So we're going to go 20, 20, 20, 8, and 4. And we're going to set up our, our output to be 200 millivolts. We're going to hook up our attenuator from the waveform generator to the attenuator and from the attenuator to the input of your radio through your uh, PL259 connector. Now you're going to set the receiver to the frequency we're going to set up here and you're going to be on AM. So we're going to go to, let's say, 28.5 megahertz at 200 millivolts and we're going to turn the channel on and we're going to check what we get at the receiver all right so now we can actually see now that we have the waveform generator set up at 25 uh, 28.5 megahertz we can actually see that the receiver is pulling in an s9 signal unmodulated so it's just a carrier. Okay, so we saw what a carrier looks like. You just see the needle go up to S, S9 and thereabouts, but there's no modulation. So this particular waveform generator has modulation in it, so we can turn that on and we can put in a uh, 1 kilohertz signal modulated on this 28.5 megahertz uh, carrier. So we'll do that and we'll see what that sounds like. All right, so now we have the same carrier modulated with a one kilohertz signal. And this is what we get. We get an S9 with a one kilohertz audio signal being modulated through it. So, and that's it. So there you go. If your service manual for your radio requires you to put a one kilohertz modulated signal in, that's how you can do it. It's that, it's that easy. 
you, all you need is a precision waveform generator and then a step attenuator and a few coax cables and you can start uh, testing your IF stage of your receiver. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next. Subscribe, like, and have a good day.